Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Team Seas. It's a fundraiser that Mr. Beast and Mark Rober has created. They claim that every dollar donated will actually remove one pound of trash from the ocean. However, I'm here to prove that this is not true. So now let's talk about what is Team Seas. It's a fundraiser that two YouTubers, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober, has created. Their hopes is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean by January 1st, 2022. And as of today, December 21st, 2022, they've removed over 20 million pounds of trash already, or that's what they claimed. They're also the same people that brought you Team Trees, which is a fundraiser that has planted over 23 million trees to date. Not sure if you see the resemblance, but it took two of YouTube's biggest creators to come up with those names. Anyways, what they're trying to claim for Team Seas is that every dollar that we donate will equal to one pound of trash removed from the ocean. But I'm here today to prove that this is not true. And the reason for this is because of taxes. But since they're not accountants, you can't really blame them on this. So let's talk about how donation tax credits affect your donations in Canada. And then we'll talk about our American friends afterwards. So in Canada, for the first $200 that you donate, you get back 15%. And then afterwards, you get back 29% for the remaining amount that you donate. So for example, if you donated $300, you actually get back $59 in donation credits, which means if you ever need to pay any taxes at the end of the day, you get to pay $59 less because of this donation tax credit. So what does this all mean? It means that if you actually donate $1 to Team C's, it actually only costs you 85 cents for the first $200 and 71 cents thereafter. And as a result, it actually proves my point that to remove one pound of trash out of the ocean, it costs you less than $1. So some key facts to remember about donation tax credits are that you need to make these donations before December 31st of the applicable tax year. Any unclaimed donations from you, your spouse, or your common law partner can be taken from the previous five years. And for those of us that want to be super generous, remember that you can only donate up to 75% of your net income for that year. But that's not all. In Canada, there's such thing as a first time donors super credit, which means if you or your spouse or your common law partner has not claimed any donation tax credit after the year 2007, you're allowed to get an extra 25% tax credit on top of everything that I just told you, up to the first $1,000 that you donate, which means for every $1 that you donate, you actually cost you only 60 cents for the first $200 and then 46 cents up to the next $800 that you want to donate. In the USA, unlike Canada, you don't get a tax credit, you actually get a tax deduction, which means it lowers the net income of your particular year and results in less taxes that you need to pay. The benefit that you gain depends on the tax rate you pay for your income, but the underlying principle is still the same. You're still paying less than that dollar that you actually donated because you get to recoup some back. In 2020, the IRS has announced that you don't need to itemize your donation receipts if you want to claim up to $300. It's always a good habit to keep a good record of all your donations in case the IRS wants to audit you afterwards. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about Team C's and the Canadian and US tax rules on donations. Please consider to donate to Team C's to help rid our oceans of trash. The link is in the description below. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.